get ready for the feature presentation. And now, it's my daddy, Monkey with Fry. to another Marty and Friends. Today, we've got some really important information to pass along to you, and I want you to learn more about this organization, and I think it'll speak for itself once we tell you about it. So let's welcome in Ken Leslie. He is the founder of the National Homeless Veterans Housing Program. Veteransmatter.org is the website. Hey, Ken, how's it going? Marty, how are you, my friend? I finally made it big in getting on Marty and Friends. (laughs) That's a perfect setup because if you say, yeah, I finally made it over the hump, after we tell everybody what you do and we give them the basic rundown, I want to get into how you made it over the hump and taking your organization to the next level. But let's start at the beginning for people that don't know. Let's explain exactly your vision and what the organization does. Veterans Matter started by accident. I was CEO of a company, um, and one of the things we do with our volunteer group, we have a volunteer group that helps the homeless. And we do blitzes with the VA, and we look for veterans who uh, are homeless and help the VA get them into housing. And I was doing one with my friends with the VA here in Toledo, and and uh, she told me about uh, a veteran friend of mine that wasn't able to get housed because he didn't have a deposit, 600 bucks. And I said, well, what would I do if I uh, gave him a check for $600, if I gave you a check? And she said he'd get housed immediately. And I said, well, what do you do when they don't have the deposit? And she said, we take them around the churches and VFWs and help them beg for it. And that broke my heart. That's yeah. what started Veterans Matter. That night came up with the idea, write the check straight to the landlord, 100% success rate. Next morning called the local uh, foundation, said, I need 26000 and I need it fast because there are veterans waiting. And seven days later, Valentine's Day, 5.36 p.m., uh, uh, she called and said, here's your full funding. And three days after that, we housed our first veteran, 11 days of idea execution. So that's how it started. People can really look into this and find out how every dollar that you raise, there's a direct connection to that dollar and where it goes and what it does. And you pretty much just explained what it does. Every single day, we update how many veterans we've housed and where. So people uh, in in each of the funded areas of operation are able to keep track that way. Um, and, And in starting this, I wanted to create something that I would want to donate to. So it's fast, efficient, transparent, and low cost. Our admin rate is 8%. Mm. And that's because of the efficiencies that we built into the system. And I do want to say it's because of our our partnership with the VA. We work exclusively with the VA's HUD-VASH program. That means that every single dollar we deploy results in another veteran housed. And it's long-term permanent housing that has a 91% success rate keeping them housed. Plus, once they're housed, they get 360-degree wraparound services from the VA. So it's a full holistic approach. And, and, and what we do basically is we leverage our donors' dollars, each dollar into $70 in value to the homeless veteran. I think for most of us, we would understand if you just said the word homeless veteran, we would understand, okay, we get what that means, right? I think there's a deeper meaning people need to understand. And researching what you did, I suddenly saw it. That deeper meaning being there is a fine line of being homeless and being able to afford something. And sometimes it's just that little bit of help that you provide to get them over that fine line, right? Absolutely. I mean, they're lined up. They have a long-term housing voucher that's permanent housing. They're ready to get in. It's like they're standing on your front porch waiting to go inside the open door. They're just waiting for somebody to say yes. And and we, because of our wonderful donors, are able to say yes. And we've now housed over 3,000 veterans in 22 states nationwide. We always talk about giving a helping hand to those who have served. No matter what your donation would be, this is certainly that helping hand, getting them into long-term housing when they just need a little help to get that deposit. This is that little help that we're talking about. And your dollars add up, and the numbers speak for themselves of what Ken has already told you. Now that we talked about that, there's several ways to get involved and give to your organization, right? They can go to the website, click the donate button, then text VETS to 41444. We've got a national radio campaign going on thanks to Cumulus with 15 wonderful country artists who care about homeless veterans. Luke Bryan, uh, Carrie Underwood, Florida Georgia Line, Marin Morris, uh, and a host of others who are rallying with us because the veterans are counting on us. Uh, our program grew because Dusty Hill, ZZ Top, asked me to expand it to Houston. Yeah, that's what I was going to get to. You have a long history of teaming up with music artists because I guess your organization was in the baby steps when you teamed up with Dusty? 
Yeah, we, yeah. it was just uh, designed to house 35 local veterans. And, and I got angry because there were 60,000 uh, soldiers homeless at the time. Mm-hmm. So I called friends to do PSAs, and I was doing one with Dusty. And Dusty said, I love helping veterans. What's this one for? And I told him. He said, will you help me start it in Houston? I said, sure. So I created this online system that lets the VA in any funded area of operation access the funds for the veteran. And we send the check the same day straight to the landlord. And after I did that and they expanded, then John Mellencamp did the same thing for Indiana. And then in Michigan, Mitch Albom, uh, Katy Perry, Kid Rock raised a bunch of money, and the thing just started taking off. Uh, at the end of 2015, I, I closed my business and have been doing this full time ever since. And it's the best decision I've ever made because I get to work with all these people who just care about homeless veterans as much as we do. And that's a privilege for us to be able to give back like that. I'm sure you go out and you see firsthand the difference it's making and you talk to these people that just got the helping hand so tell me the feedback that you get from the veterans who unexpectedly got this you know they they didn't think it was going to work out for a house although they were ready um but it suddenly did so tell me about that feedback you get from them Oh, you're absolutely right, Marty, because, I mean, every day I wake up, what drives me is the fact that I know that right now, this very minute, somewhere in this country, there's a veteran on his knees praying for a way to find the deposit so he, his wife, and three kids are going to be able to get into that ready and waiting housing. That is there. And then once you see them cross that threshold, uh, it's an amazing experience because you're giving them this, this respect and a fresh start every time. And some of the veterans are disabled, either uh, physically or mentally. Those people are the ones that we need to take care of for the rest of their lives. But a good third of the veterans are simply have some sort of uh, uh, economic upheaval, uh, lost their job or they got a divorce and, and they split the house and the veteran got the outside of the house. So mm-hmm. had to find something new. I mean, these are are veterans who are out for a range of reasons. Uh, you know, for the, the veteran who lost both of his arms and his legs, I believe that it's our obligation to take care of them the rest of their life. And, and fortunately, you know, we've, we've met enough people that care about them as much as we do and are rallying with us, and we were able to house one veteran at a time 3,000 times plus to date. Veteransmatter.org is the website, the organization. Uh, please dig in and learn about it because the more you learn about it, and Ken's telling you about it, obviously, but the more you learn about it, I think the more you will fall in love with what Ken is doing. And Ken, what is your vision for the future for the organization? Obviously, keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I believe that I'm being driven by by God and his spirit. And Because I'm not this smart, Marty. I'm really not. This stuff keeps happening out of the blue and, and keeps going. So right now, I'm focused just on getting every single veteran that I can housed. I mean, people are like, well, why don't you do couches and stuff? And, and the answer is because I've never seen a veteran die because he didn't have a couch. Mm-hmm. I have seen one die with his face frozen on the street. And even one more night can be one too many for a veteran. And that's why we're focused exclusively on getting them housed. It's sort of like for the people in the military, we clear the landing zone to be able to get the veteran housed. And then everybody else comes in to provide the services, the care, the couches, etc. We're already on to the next veteran to get them housed. What's so cool about this is most of the veterans we help don't even know it's us that help them. I mean, we're like their guardian angel. So, so if you imagine that, you're as a donor, you're a, a guardian angel to a veteran, and that one that was on his knees this morning is the one you're going to be able to house tomorrow. And with the text number, text vets to four one four four four. With that number, because uh, I just want to, if if people are busy, I want one thing to catch in their mind. Um, can they donate any amount when they use the text uh, system? Absolutely. It's, it's, you know, we, we, and if you want to do it one time or monthly, uh, every single dollar truly counts. And, and you can also add our Facebook, uh, Veterans Matter on Facebook, uh, and the same thing on Twitter and, and Instagram. But on Facebook, we posted the thing about there's a guy or a girl, we don't know for sure, but we, last month we got somebody who anonymously sent us a dollar from Las Vegas. And we thought that was sweet. Mm. But then this month we got another dollar. And now we realize the power of one. This person has now helped one of the 3,000 veterans because every dollar that we get combined with all the other dollars is what allows the veterans to get housed. And that's a really, really beautiful power of one. I wish I could reach the person in Vegas and say, thank you so much. Look what you've done with your dollar.
Yeah, because uh, if you could take somebody in need like that, a veteran in need like that, and buy them lunch or whatever you would, so let's say you had 10 bucks, well, you can uh, do this, 10 bucks, send it in, 10 bucks goes a long way, and every little donation matters with what Ken is doing. So don't think whatever your donation is, don't think, well, I'm not going to mess with it. Yeah, mess with it. And then when you do it, do exactly what Ken said. If it's a few bucks, do it, and then spread the word. That is valuable to Ken as well, right, Ken? Absolutely. The privilege is we get to unite all of those who care about homeless veterans as much as we do and rally them into one cohesive force that's getting this done. It's no one individual. It's no one donor. It's no one area. It's America coming together, Americans who just care. And what I like about this is politically, we have no political affiliations. We split the upright. I mean, we had Katy Perry and Kid Rock raising money for us. Our board has a former uh, advisor to the Bush White House and a really liberal rock and roll uh, publicist. What's so important is that this is that one thing where we can unite on. You know, where the acrimony is gone, we don't allow any politics in our work at all. And it's that power of one of people coming together that's making it all happen. Yeah, maybe there's a big lesson to be learned in that, that we can, if we look hard enough, and we're really not having to look hard here, but we can find common ground on things. Maybe that's a a great message to spread with the other great message you have going here with this organization. Um, There is common ground if we look hard enough. Absolutely. And, you know, if you look at it this way, that veteran that you've just helped house doesn't give a rip if you're on the right or the left. Mm -hmm. He just knows he's got a warm pillow tonight. Veteransmatter.org. And again, the text version of that, just text the word vets to 41444. But I encourage you to find out more. Look for them on Facebook and Instagram and find out as much as you can. And Ken really lays it on the line. And that's really been your vision for this organization for the beginning, right? It's like, I'm going to have transparency. You're going to see everything we do. And that's kind of been your vision from the beginning, right? Yeah, why not? I mean, if you're doing things the right way, people want to support it. So just do it the right way. I mean, it's really simple. And if you're doing things the right way, you don't mind people seeing what you're doing. And we're just blessed to be able to articulate it in a way where, you know, we've got such good people with us helping to educate people on what we're doing, like yourself, who are helping us get the word out. I mean, it's a privilege to be a part of creating a national movement. And that's what your your listeners are doing right now. That's what you're doing is you're helping build this once in a lifetime opportunity to make a national movement. That's Ken Leslie. He's the founder of Veterans Matter dot org. It's been a pleasure talking with you and congratulations with everything. Thank you so much, Marty. And if people want to contact me, contact me direct. It's Ken at VeteransMatter.org is my email. I mean, we're, we're rallying people together. This is, it's a very flat organization. It's you and me are at the same level. We all are along with the VA and the funders and everybody else. We're just a bunch of people on one team who give a rip. And Marty, thank you so much. And please consider me one of your friends.